India to build Brahmas 3 for Russia Russia, which already has the Onyx missile system, is unsure whether it will induct the Brahmas Block 3 Kurs missile. But given that it has opted to buy the Su MKI designed for India, it is likely it will also buy the Brahmas to equip the fighter aircraft. The Indian Army has the Kurs missile Brahmas Block 3, one of the most lethal weapon systems that currently exist in the world. The publication Defense News writes, This Kurs missile is capable of flights at supersonic speeds, making it hard for enemy radar to track, as well as being practically invulnerable to modern anti-missile and air defense systems. Brahmas Block 3 is a joint Russian-Indian project, which is based on the P-800 Onyx missile, which is exported under the name Jackand. This, however, has not stopped the specialists at Defense News from comparing it with its Chinese analog, the DF-21, and finding major advantages in the Russian-Indian missile. The Brahmos Block 3 is superior to the DF-21 in all respects, and is likely to soon capture the global market, say experts. Both these missiles are designed as destroyers of ships, with the Chinese DF-21 often being called the killer of aircraft carriers. P.Y.O.T. Topichkanov, senior researcher at the Safety Center of the Institute of World Economy and International Relations Rast said there is an important point in making such comparisons. The DF-21 project has gone much further in terms of development in contrast to the Brahmos Block 3, which is still in the prototype stage. Accordingly, it is not yet clear when and in what form the Brahmos Block 3 will be placed into a service. Perhaps, according to the Anand specifications, it really is superior to the DF-21. But how this project will finally evolve in real terms is difficult to say. And thus comparing these two missiles is very difficult, said Topichkanov. The expert notes that the Brahmos is a joint venture project between Russia and India, and the Indians, according to the documents that form the core of this project, cannot go it alone on this missile, including in the development of any or all of its components. For this perspective, we cannot say that the Indians are venturing out on their own and creating their own missile, said Topichkanov. The Indians are calculating. The expert notes that the Brahmos Block 3 missile will become one of the best-selling exports. At the same time, according to the original agreement signed between Russia and India, it was assumed that this rocket would be purchased not only by India, but also by Russia. However, a while ago, Moscow began rethinking this decision, as Russia has its own Onyx system, and this has become a stumbling block in the path of manufacturing and selling of the Brahmos. Block 3 missiles on the world arms market. There is another precedent that may be recalled. The multifunctional fighter Su-30 MKI. It was designed exclusively for Indian military requirements. But then, there was a decision to also purchase it for the needs of Russia's aerospace defense forces. The same fate probably awaits the Brahmos Block 3, especially since it is closely connected with the Su-30 MKI project. Now that Russia has decided to buy the Su-30 MKI aircraft, the Brahmos missiles have a good chance of coming into a service with the Russian armed forces. The fact is that this year, they are planning to carry out the first live testing of the Brahmos air-based missiles that were designed just for the Su-30 MKI fighter jets. So this project is being implemented in one way or another in the interests of the armed forces of both India and Russia, said Topichkanov. Based, therefore, on the fact that Russia is going to buy the Su-30 MKI, according to Topichkanov, it may be easily concluded that Moscow is considering arming these aircraft with the Brahmos Block 3 missiles. This project again displays how this military cooperation with India is beneficial also for Russia in the case of both the Su-30 MKI and Brahmos Block 3. In addition, we must not forget about the export version of the T-50 platform. The fifth generation fighter aircraft, FGFA fighter jet, which in the coming years will be developed for the needs of the Indian Air Force. 
This project will yield for Russia a new version of the fifth-generation fighter, which will be significantly different from the aircraft which will enter into service in the Russian Armed Forces this year.